hey all here OS reviews, in late 2018 Type-C isn't anything new. However, there's been slight resistance by manufacturers to adopt the standard, especially on more budget-conscious devices, whether that's a computer, a smartphone, or a tablet. But finally, we're starting to see more and more of those devices roll out, even on accessories like power banks and speakers are all using Type-C now. So as this port becomes more popular, I wanted to take a closer look at what I think is one of the most feature-rich USB Type-C hubs currently on the market. So this thing has a whopping 10 ports on it. It, which is a little bit overkill, but from one USB-C port you get all of these connections. Three full-size USB 3.0 connectors, we have micro and full-size SD card readers, Ethernet port for wired internet, full HDMI, also a VGA for older monitors, and a USB Type-C again. There's even a stereo port so you can connect headphones to it because again a lot of devices these days don't even have a analog 3.5 millimeter headphone port. So pretty much if you need a connector, uh, this stock will probably have it. Now it sells for about 80 bucks on Amazon, which actually is one of the cheapest prices that you'll find for a multi-port Type-C dock. Uh, other options which have eight to 10 uh, connectors typically sell for 100 to 150 bucks. There are some quick information that you can read about all of the ports and then we have just the dock inside. So this Type-C dock is made out of aluminum. It's a unibody finish so it is very much in line with other premium uh, electronics whether that's a MacBook, a Surface, or any other premium uh, tablet or computer. So we have just a Type-C connector, a pretty short arm here, but we also have rubber feet that, uh, again, allows the computer to set this elevated angle. We have the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary port on the side and nothing else on the other end. And on the basis where we have all of the other connectors that we've already mentioned, and another Type-C if you want to continue charging your computer with this dock plugged in, or you can also connect this to even more docks if you think that three ports aren't sufficient. And by the way, this manufacturer does make other Type-C hubs as well, such as this tiny one, which is a lot smaller but doesn't have as many I.O. It's also significantly cheaper. But again, technically you can plug this into the Type-C port if you want to get even more USB ports on your device. So let's test it out. I have a USB mouse connected as well as a SD card and let's say another uh, flash drive as well. And yes, it seems to work. So even on tablets and smartphones that have a Type-C port, uh, it will be supported, even though again, that is a little bit overkill. But now you can, let's say, finally mirror whatever is on your tablet's display onto a monitor using HDMI or uh, VGA without using you know a wireless solution like Miracast. So for instance, right now we have it just plugged in and it's detected every everything right away, which we can tap on to uh, take a closer look at what's inside and transfer content back and forth. And now I've also plugged in some earphones onto the auxiliary port and it's working really well. So I've removed the ear tips here if we place this next to the camera. Again, volume is coming out from there instead of the tablet's own speakers. So again, audio works as well. Of course, the mouse that we have here also works. We just have a cursor that pops up on screen. And we're able to see content from that memory card that we have inserted, including, again, pictures, which we can now save and transfer over on our tablet. So you can just remove those SD cards directly from, say, a camera that you may have a DSLR, just pop it onto the stock and connect it directly onto this monitor for a larger experience. And we can even charge our tablet or computer by, again, inserting it onto the Type-C port that's open. And if I don't want to do that, I can obviously connect even more hubs and accessories through additional Type-C peripher peripherals. So before I plug this into the display using HDMI, I want to mention that when you are connected to the hub, there is also a small blue LED that you can view through some of the ports here. It allows you to quickly glance if something is connected successfully and power is running through, and also makes it a little easier to find these ports in the dark. All right, so I plugged it into Type-C on this uh, Windows phone. This one has Continuum. Now we have a desktop-like experience on the monitor and the phone just becomes kind of a touchpad. So again, connecting to an external display US using the HDMI port on the stock is fully functional. So that's been our hands-on review of this 10-in-1 USB Type-C hub. Again, it's one of the most versatile on the market. So regardless, if you want to do video output, you can connect to two monitors, HDMI, and also using VGA at the same time really expanding on the usability of a lot of ultra portables and tablets and phones these days, which are missing many of the standard IO ports. So you can check out more details about this in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the kind of crazy 10-in-1 USB Type-C hub.